Hello everyone, Cindy here with Monarch Mom DIY. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel today where I like to bring you the best tips and tools for creating beautiful home decor on a budget. Today I'm very excited to be taking part in the Follow the Rainbow DIY collab. This is a hop between myself and eight other YouTube DIYers. Each creator has chosen one color from the rainbow and the challenge was to create three DIYs around that color. So I myself chose the color blue for a few reasons. One, it is my husband's favorite color. Two, I just think it's a very calming color. And three, there's many different shades of blue. So I thought it would be um, a little more, I don't know, flexible of a color to work with. So I really hope you enjoy the DIYs that I created for you today. For my first DIY, I'm using two of these metal buckets, some floral foam, some floral moss, some bamboo skewers, and these two packs of tissue paper from Dollar Tree, as well as some wood circles from Walmart. So I really liked the light blue of these buckets, but just wanted to give them a little bit more texture. So with my chip brush and my white Waverly chalk paint, I'm just dry brushing some white on my two buckets. Now, I really liked these two tissue papers, and for this dark one, I've decided to do the center of my flowers with the pool. So what I'm gonna do, I have two packs here of the wood circles. They come six to a pack, and I am going to end up using 14 circles. So here I'm showing 12, but I'm actually going to paint 14 of these circles with my pool blue on both sides of the circle. So here you can see them. Once my paint is dry, I'm taking 10 of the circles and I'm going to take this tissue paper and I'm going to Mod Podge this beautiful dark blue floral tissue paper on each of these 10 circles. I wanted the base of the light blue so that um, especially the next tissue paper, you would see blue and not um, a whiter looking color. So putting some Mod Podge on the circle, then lightly pressing down the tissue paper, then another coat of Mod Podge on top, and let those dry completely. Next, flipping it over on my cutting mat here and taking my fingertip um, knife, I'm just going gently around the tissue paper to cut that away from the edges on all 10 of my circles. Now that that side is done, I'm going to take this other tissue paper from Dollar Tree that also has some blues in it, but it's a little bit lighter. And I'm going to do the same thing on the back side of each of my 10 circles. So I'm decoupaging all 10 circles with two different tissue papers. This is going to be a reversible craft DIY. So here you can see the two different sides for each of my circles. Now taking a just plain pool blue circle in the center, I'm taking five of the tissue paper circles and hot gluing them to make a flower. And then I'm taking another pool blue circle for the center on the other side. So now you can see I have two circle flowers and they are reversible. Next, taking the color Malachite in my chalk paint, I cut these two long bamboo skewers from Dollar Tree at two different lengths, and I'm just sponge painting them with this green color to be the stems. Taking a block of floral foam from Dollar Tree that actually is four small pieces, I'm going to take two small pieces and just hot glue one into the bottom of each of my buckets. Then I'm going to hot glue my green skewer stem to each of my flowers. Taking the stem now and poking it into the floral foam to make a hole, I'm going to then take it out and put some hot glue down there and return the skewer stem to the foam so that this flower will stay secure. And I'm going to do this for both of my flowers. Be 
because these flowers are a little more whimsical, instead of using the reindeer moss, I decided to use the white crinkle paper. Um, that's just what I had on hand. You could use green crinkle paper if you want it to look um, more like grass, but just stuffing it in those spaces and then putting a little hot glue on top of the foam and adding a little more of the crinkle paper was the look I was going for and then just trim it around with some scissors so it's not completely spilling over. Now I decided I wanted to add some leaves to my flowers so I just took a sheet of green felt and folded it in half. I'm just free cutting some leaf shapes and you can see I'm going to kind of cinch it there and um, add those to my stems. So here I cut four different leaves and with my hot glue, I kind of cinched it to give it some uh, dimension there. And then I'm just gluing it to my skewer. I'll do one on the right and one on the left. And I'll do that for both of my flowers. And here is my first project completed. I love that there are two different heights. I love that I incorporated these two tissue papers from Dollar Tree. And I love that I can make both of them be this dark blue tissue paper if I want. I can make them be two different or I can make them both be the light blue. I just think these are so cute and will look adorable on my mantle for spring. Here's a little bit more information about the collab and the giveaway. Now there is a giveaway incorporated with this hop and the way you are entered for the giveaway is to watch and comment on each of the nine videos. You have from the time you're seeing this until March 25th at midnight Eastern time. That's two weeks to watch and comment on each of the nine videos. When you do, you will be entered into the drawing for 100 US dollars that will be awarded through PayPal. The winner will be randomly selected on March 26th and we will announce it on our nine community pages on March 27th. So good luck. I hope you enjoy all the wonderful DIYs from each of these videos and just have a great time watching them and commenting on them. Let the creators know what you liked most about their creations. For my second DIY, I'm using two of these four by six palettes from Dollar Tree, a wood tray, four thick dowels, some fake birds, some foam eggs, and some grass. So again, going with the blue color scheme, I'm going to paint both of these wood palettes with my light blue called Pool in the Waverly Chalk Paint. Then coming to the wood tray, I'm going to use the darker blue, which is called Ocean. It's really pretty. It's like a, just a royal blue and it covers really nicely. So I'm doing all the surfaces of this wood tray. Now for my four wood dowels, I'm going to just paint those white. So I paint most of it and then stick it down in a jar or something to dry and then come back and paint the unpainted part. So do that to all four. Now I wanted to add a little dimension to the tray. So I decided to again, do some dry brushing with my white um, just a little bit so you can still see that blue color coming through. I did the sides and the bottom and then going around the edges here, but I left the inside just the blue. And now that my wood dowels are dry, I'm going to take my hot glue, put some on the bottom, and I'm going to glue one of these inside each of my corners of my tray. So some glue on the bottom and then a little bit on the sides there just to hold it in place. Then taking my two palettes, I'm going to kind of place them like a roof. So just putting a line of hot glue and then lining those up. I'm actually gluing the two palettes together first and then I'm going to glue them to the top of the dowels. Thank you. 
I wanted to add a little greenery wreath to my little birdhouse here, so I took some of this leaf paper garland from Hobby Lobby that I had in my stash and made a little wreath and then taking some black and white gingham ribbon from Dollar Tree, just tie a small little bow to also glue onto that wreath. I then decided to add a little bit more of that black and white gingham to bring in some more farmhouse effect to this DIY. So I'm just going to hot glue a strip of it all the way around the center of the base or the tray of our little birdhouse. Now that our house is constructed, I'm just going to add some of this like raffia straw um, hay type stuff into the bottom. And then we'll put a couple of these birds in the bottom, as well as three of these blue foam eggs. I believe the eggs were from Dollar General, but they have something very similar at Dollar Tree, or you can paint them to be whatever color you wanted. I did go ahead and hot glue these three eggs together just so they wouldn't roll around and they would all kind of stay together. Then taking one more bird, because I had three for some reason, I'm going to just hot glue this one up to the top of our little birdhouse. And here's how my second blue DIY turned out for this video. I just think it's so cute. I had the idea for the house with the tray and the pallets, but um, just all the details with the black and white gingham and the birds and the eggs, I just love it. And I hope you guys like it too. If you are new to my channel, I hope you'll consider sticking around by hitting that subscribe button and then also tap the bell and choose all so that YouTube will notify you every time I upload new content. So this third DIY was inspired by a vase I think I saw on Kirkland's website, but I'm using some plastic spoons, some florals, four different colors of blue acrylic paint, and this spray paint and this coffee container. I would have liked to use a large metal can, but I did not have any, so I went with that coffee container. I am going to, this is an entire package of 48 white plastic spoons from Dollar Tree. I cut all the handles off and you can see here I have them in four groups of 12. So I have four different acrylic blue paints from Walmart. So they were 50 cents a piece and I'm painting 12 spoon heads with each blue. I will say that I did do two or three, I think I did two coats of the lighter two colors and the darker two shades of blue, I had to do three coats to cover up the white. But these were pretty easy to paint and I just had to let them dry between coats. And then these are the four shades I used, cobalt, hue, bright blue, bright, or sorry, blue bonnet and blue cotton. Like I said, they were all from Walmart. Now this was a labor of love. This took a little time to glue these around this container. But basically what I'm doing is I have 12 spoon heads of the lightest blue and I'm just overlapping them slightly so that they go all the way around the top of the canister. Then with the next shade, you can see I'm putting it so that it's lined up in the middle of two spoon heads at the top, if that makes sense. And then I went around and glued all 12 of those around the container. And it was hard because the container kept trying to roll, but um, I did eventually get all 12 of that next shade around, then start started going around with the next darker shade, again, lining up the tip of the spoon between two spoons ahead of it. Then coming down with our very last shade, I got these last 12 glued around the base of the coffee container.
Okay, so here's all 48 of the spoon heads. I decided I wanted to make it a little bit more rustic, so I just took a sanding sponge and kind of sanded some worn spots so you could see the white again. This is totally optional. If you don't wanna do this, you can just paint the spoons and glue them on. And then I did give this a spray with a matte clear spray just so the paint wouldn't scrape off the spoons anymore. So that is the vase for my contain for my project. And then I put some foam in there and I loved these blue flowers I found at Dollar Tree this year. They just call them spike. And I got six bunches. I cut four of them at two different lengths and left two of them the length they were and just kind of poked them randomly in the foam just to fill it in and make them all at different heights. So again, just for something different and to kind of give some weight to my arrangement here, I put some of these light blue pebbles in my container and Guys, this is really pretty. I was really happy with how this turned out and I can't wait to have it out for the springtime. And really the plastic spoons, what an awesome idea. Thank you so much again for joining me for this DIY collab. I would really love to know in the comments which of these three projects you enjoyed the most. And then make sure you look in the description box below for the link to the next video in the hop. And good luck with the giveaway.